Hello everyone. Today's video is going to show you how to read JSON data that's stored in an S3 bucket by connecting it to AWS Athena and performing some SQL queries on it. So let's head over to S3 first and just take a look at the data that I have stored in my bucket. So I have two buckets here, one for storing the results of my SQL queries and one that actually contains my raw data. So let's just take a look at each of these really quickly. So in the side of this bucket, we have a transactions.json file. I'm just going to open this up to show you what's inside. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, we have a JSON file here, and each row here has an ID, which is a UUID, a type, and that's either a refund or a purchase, an amount, which is a double, and a date field. So if you're gonna be using JSON data with Athena, I have some pro tips for you here. Unfortunately, the classifier does not correctly work with just standard JSON format. And when I say that, I mean, you know, commas at the end of each line here and square brackets at the start and the end for a JSON array. You need a very specific format where it's one entry per line and no commas at the end after each entry. So just keep that in mind. So that's what our data looks like. Now let's just quickly go and grab the path of this file because we're gonna need it later when we wanna classify our data. So where's the path here? Copy path, okay, perfect. Uh, so that's gonna tell us where this is located. Now let's go back and take a quick look at the results bucket, which is empty. There's nothing in here, so nothing special. So what this bucket is gonna do, it's gonna store the results of our queries on Athena. So let's actually go back and type in Athena. And okay, so here we are with the default view. The first thing that I want you to do if you've never used Athena before is go to the top right and click on settings button over here. And what you have to do is specify an output path. So I already did this. I specified my output path, AWS Simplified Results, which is that empty bucket that I just showed you. So any query that I'm gonna be running, the result of that query is gonna be dumped to this bucket. And you can set up some very interesting behaviors here. You can attach that to a Lambda trigger. So anytime a file gets uploaded, you trigger a Lambda function that does something. Uh, you can check out one of my other videos on that. I'll put that in the description section below. But just make sure that you do this step or else it gets very confusing a little bit later on. You won't be able to run queries and you may not know why. So that is a prerequisite. So what we're gonna do here first is click on connect data source. And we're gonna use query data in S3 and use the AWS Glue data catalog. So there's two ways to do this. You can either use AWS Glue, which will crawl your data and inspect the JSON objects that are within the source data's bucket and say, okay, this JSON file contains this schema. And then it'll connect that to a pseudo table in Athena so that you can query over the columns in your JSON file. So that's what we're gonna do for this example. The other alternative is to use a manual process where you specify the names and the types of each column. Uh, you can do that if we just go back here to show you really quick what that looks like. You can go to create table and you could say from S3 bucket data and then you could put it in the, some basic information here, whatever you want, whatever you want. I'm just gonna paste that in really quick to show you that's not valid, of course. And you would say JSON over here for the data format. And this is where you would add your column. So in mine, I had ID, I had type, I had amount, I had date, all that kind of stuff. So you can easily do that if you like. I'm gonna use the crawler here, which will do all this automatically for you. Keep in mind by using the crawler, there is an additional cost. It's very, very minor. Whereas if you do it this way, there's no cost, but I'm a lazy guy. So I'm gonna do it the automated way. So we're going back now to connect data source. So we're query data with S3, okay, using AWS Glue, that's good. Click on next. And so connection details. So we want to set up a crawler in AWS Glue to retrieve schema information automatically. That's what we want. It's gonna click on this guy. It's gonna bring up a new tab. All right, so now we need to create a crawler. So I'm just gonna say AWS Athena demo. Click on next. And crawler source type, uh, we're gonna say data stores, click on next, and we are in S3. Interestingly, you can connect this to another database or a DynamoDB table. Uh, I believe these are new, actually. DynamoDB, that, that's fairly new. This used to only be S3 at some point. 
Uh, I'll probably do a video on that in the future. Okay, specified path in my account. Now we're gonna paste in the path that we copied in previously, and we're just gonna cut off the name of the file. So what this is saying is that any files are, that are located in this path, so say you had you know transactions one.json, transactions two, so on and so forth, it would read over all of those files. Uh, so that's what, what this does. So we're gonna click on next now. Add another data store, no, we are almost done. Uh, okay, we need an IAM role to read the S3 contents. We're gonna say create a new one, uh, demo, so it sounds good to me. Click on next. Uh, so what you can do with the crawler is to run this pretty frequently so you can update your data on a regular cadence. Uh, since this is just a one-time shot for me, my data is there, I just wanna classify it once. I'm just gonna set it to run on demand. But you can set it here to do a schedule. Uh, keep in mind you do pay for the cost here if you're running this frequently. So just keep that in mind. Clicking on next now. And we're gonna use the default database that already exists, it comes with your account. If you want, you can create a separate one and organize your data that way. But since this is just a demo, I'm just gonna use the default one. Uh, now we're gonna go click on next. And this is just gonna summarize what we did. Gonna click on finish now. And so my crawler was created. Do I wanna run it on demand? Yes, I do. You can either click run it now or you can click on the tab and click on run crawler. So often this takes a couple minutes, so I'm gonna fast forward this and come back when it's all done. All right, so after a few minutes, the crawler was successfully created. We can see that that happened here, and we can see that one table got successfully added. So let's head back to the Athena section now. I can close this tab out and close the wizard here, clicking back on Athena. And we can see that I now have this table here, AWS Simplified Athena Demo. Just click on here and go to Preview. We just do a simple query. And we can see here's our data with the columns that were specified in our JSON object uh, in S3. You can also do like all your SQL kind of stuff. So we can say where, uh, I don't know, type is equal to purchase and amount greater than equal to, greater than equal to 50. So it'll give us all the purchase items where the amount is greater than 50. So there you go. You can see that they're all purchases here and they're all more than $50. If you like this video, I have many more on my channel, so be sure to check that out. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.